Hi y'all, bonjour, hola, my name is Trish. If you're new, welcome. So guys, in this Photoshop tutorial lesson, I'm going to show you how to use a content aware tool to get rid of the fans. And if you're looking to learn Photoshop and take it to another level, I do have a Photoshop course on Skillshare. I will put a link to that in the description below. So without much ado, let's get started. So to remove the fence, we are going to add a new layer and we are going to pick up our paint brush and you want your foreground to be black and also you need to reduce your brush head so that it's small enough for you to be able to brush over all the fences and then we'll go to the next step where we select and apply the content aware tool click hold down your shift and then just click on the next point and you notice that it basically gives you a straight line so what we are going to do is we have to do this for each of the fans so i'm just going to hold one end once i make a point i hold shift and then it draws so i'm going to go ahead to forward it want to go ahead and make a selection of all the fence area that we have painted so hold down your command make a selection of the thumbnail or control if you are on the windows now we want to go ahead and turn off this layer make sure that you click back on your original image and then pick up your move tool now go under edit and then choose content aware to apply the content aware fail now notice that in the preview is giving us a very good cover-up of all the areas with the fence we're gonna go ahead to click OK and hold down command D or control D to deselect now if I zoom in you see that it's done a very good job to take off the fence and it's as though it wasn't ever there i'm going to match the content aware fence copy that was done and the original image so hold down shift select both right click and match it if you're enjoying this tutorial give this video a thumbs up so now that we have both layers matched there are some areas that i need to clean up so i'm gonna go under my spot healing brush i'm gonna choose that one and i'm just going to basically dab and basically get rid of any line that I see that we don't need to see that even with the with the leaf I can just go over this just to get rid of that so we have something more realistic so we're gonna pick up our lasso tool and I'm just going to go ahead and trace around so we get all of this so it's very similar on the other side and I'm going to go ahead and right click make a copy with my move tool I'm gonna to move this on the other side now we need to flip it so go under edit and go to transform and flip horizontal now I'm just going to place this right there it looks perfect just a little bit of line showing that we can clean up so all I'm going to do is make sure that I'm on the same layer, pick up my eraser tool, and I can go and maybe just smudge the edge a little to blend that in, basically. I'm going to go ahead to match um, these two layers, right-click, match it, and I'm going to go ahead and apply a camera raw effect. So click on your image, go to filter, camera raw filter and we are going to just play a little with our exposure our contrast as well as our vibrance to make it pop a little so now i will go ahead and show you this is the before with the fans and this is the after please give this video a thumbs up bye y'all 